Welcome to a video today that I'm going to try and make it as short as possible, but like I said in my last video, if you watched it titled, I Miss the Old Me, I'm going to be telling you, like, more why I stopped being like a boy, being like a boy, dressing like a boy, and going by Peter, and having long black hair, and... So, first thing is that I, everyone was against me. No one really liked me. I was, you know, like, called the butch, lesbian, dyke, which I greatly appreciate. Thank you. But, anyways, that was sarcasm if you didn't know. It's just like, okay. But I used to have dysphoria that was so bad, like, everything hear my name hear like pronouns and crap and um it was hurt me it would like hurt me like bad sorry i i'm not good at talking anyways since december 2016 which is almost soon gonna be a year in like a few months since it's like september but september 2nd to be exact but um, I was checking if I was right. Ever since that happened when I cut my hair short and I had to put all my clothes up in this, uh, boy clothes up in this, uh, dresser of mine that I could really go through and had just everything feminine again and, um, it changed, like, everything and it made me see how everybody treats me, not really better because everyone still hates me at my school, but like, people didn't treat me as bad. And they've seen me like, oh, well, you know, since I started being a girl and I went up, like, I started being something that everybody wanted me to be. And so what happened was that I was finally free of like having like not having like family like oh my god you bush you're bush or like she is trouble oh my god you will never be a boy all that that i would get like every single day from like different family members especially my grandfather <sighs> and then my dad my mom my mom would occasionally she would say stuff and um uh, yeah no one really accepted me for that and um I, so ever since, like, I started being a girl and was going to be Sabrina, not Peter, and, um, everyone seemed to like me more. They all were like, oh my god, you're so sweet, you're so cool, um, I like you better this way. Haha, <laughs> look how you used to look with long black hair. Oh, remember how you used to dress? Like, and I got, and I still am now, but I got all the way to the point to where I, like, stopped having all those feelings of wanting to be a boy, like, which to me seems not normal, even though I had it for like two years, pretty much a year. Like the feeling was really bad for like a whole year, um, which doesn't seem long at all. But going to that and then really fast turning and changing for everybody, because I did that for everybody. I stopped getting in trouble. I stopped dressing how I wanted to, got the black out of my hair, cut my hair short. And did everything that people wanted me to do, and, um, I thought it would make everything, like, better, and really didn't, and it's, um, I hate it because it changed me from who I really am, so, like, now I'm, like, I'm still, like, oh my god, I like being a girl and stuff, and, like, I just make it different, like, I over sexualize myself whenever I'm a girl like you know I'm like oh look you, you'd seen some of my sexual videos of me like dancing that's just how it went because like I don't know why but it's gone so much to the point to where like I don't get that much dysphoric but I'm starting to now since I'm like on birth control now like, I don't even be on it anymore and you know I'm trying to like I really want to go back to who I really was, you know, 
even though I hated it so bad because I hated not being fine with my gender. But, like, I kind of do wish that I could go back and um, still have the strong feelings of, like, hating being called straight and that. But it is really a pain, though, you know, always getting dysphoric. Which, you know, I sometimes, like, kind of miss only because, like, that was how I truly felt. And now I just ignored it so much and somehow got it to the point to where I don't even barely even feel it anymore and um and I'm not trying to like go back and try to be a boy in transition or that kind of like the hell of it or just to make myself feel I don't know try to make myself want to be one but it's just like this isn't even really me like I don't even like I hate it it's it's been almost a year being like this and I just really hate it like it's it's just like trying to just fit in with people that you don't even fit in with but you've just ignored it so much that you just got used to it and you just came the person who you like despise like I never wanted to be this kind of never really wanted to even be a girl and be like oh uh, like I still can't I don't wear girly stuff but like I still don't even find that stuff like comfortable but like you know the way I'm just like damn look at your body I, I just I just say I just hate it. I feel like I'm more ignorant when I'm a girl. I'm not saying that girls are ignorant. Like, no. But I'm just saying how, like, I am as, like, the gender thing. And, um, another reason why I stopped, too, was that I got hate so much. I had, like, Instagram accounts named Peter isn't your name. I got, like, people always commenting, like, oh my god, like, go kill yourself, you trans sack of shit. And I have a video on there saying, like, this cringy child something when it's really just this transphobic like 18 year old crap just bashing me out saying all these names so that's another reason why I stopped and um I do try and make myself go back to how I used to be so I usually watch a lot of like trans like videos and like videos of me before because like whenever I see that kind of stuff like I feel like you know I'm not alone and I feel glad, like, I, I feel glad for them and, like, I am proud for them and, like, it makes me kind of envious, too, which makes me feel good about that, too, because it's like, you know, I'm still, I still got that boy thing, but I just hate how the girl part of me, like, and, like, I understand, you know, boys can have a feminine side, but this side is just, like, it's completely girl and 100% like faking all of it and it just became a normal part of life like if you for example if you like smile every day and you keep smiling even through tough times you start to become happy that's kind of what I did but you know it wasn't really like my snapchat and just check my instagram and crap if you scroll far enough I'm like I have changed and it's just like me like oh my god I have changed I'm the new me oh my god no I don't get in trouble anymore and I but that's what everybody thinks that I'm going to be like again the only reason why I got in trouble was it was a way for me to cope was always getting in fights and stuff but that's what people now think now it's like oh if you're dressing in all black like I do now it's one thing I hate faking and being someone who I'm not so, I mean, this is pretty much like coming out and then just going back into the closet kind of thing. And so, like, I dated Guy. Oh. Okay, good. I, it said, unfortunately, Google Play has stopped, and I was like, oh shit, my video. But it's all good. But I, you know, I really do. 11 minutes, I swear. If you got this long, thank you so much. I'm sorry for this. But I hope someone relates to me how you just come out and then just go back. Like, right back in to where you used to be. It's like... And then, like, I ask people, I'm like, why is everyone so mean to hate me? Many people say, because you wanted to be called Peter, because of the way you used to act. But now people are nice to me now, and they like me more. Even though the whole school still hates me, but, like, they're nicer to me now. You want to know why? 
because I'm a girl now, and I'm not turning it, and I'm, like, all good now, and, like, I got the school, like, staff to not, like, always hate me, now they're kind of, oh, okay, but, like, they're like, oh my god, you turned around, you're so new. But, true thing is, I don't give you any credit for it. I changed in, like, under a month, month, like, December, like, December break, and you get back to school about, like, January 4th or so, and, um, I don't give much credit, it's just like, oh, you're turning back, you're going back, backwards again, accidentally get in trouble, or, like, and then, here's one more thing I have to add to you guys, this is kind of off, not really most FBM related, but one thing. I get in trouble for not having a friend over every single weekend. Like, I am able to do that. People have a life. School just started. But I get in trouble for that. And it's like, you're going backwards. But I'd never got in trouble for that when I was 12. And that was when, that was when I was super depressed. I had long black hair and all that crap. But I never got in trouble for it. Until I started having to be a girl and had to be all perfect. And now I have to fake like everything is fine. And that, you know, my life's great. And that I don't have any issues and it's it sucks like when I was getting prescribed a birth control pill uh, my doctor asked are you um, still wanting to be a boy and then my stepmom like went right in no she doesn't anymore I'm just like it's like okay so that's why more likely why they prescribed me the birth control because they were like, oh, well, she's all fine now, and I couldn't speak for myself. So, yeah, that is how my life is for now. Um, but I am, of course, trying to enjoy having a female body because I'm glad I have at least, like, you know, a decent body, I guess. But, I don't know, I'm just not going to miss this phase of my life. But tell me if you relate to this and how it feels. And I did not want to make this a 14 minute long video, but look right now. Already did. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for how long this is, but that's my life.